Ooh, today I'm gonna to teach you how to go live into LinkedIn using my favorite third-party app live streaming tool, StreamYard. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I will meet you back here in three, two, one, let's go. And we're back. Well, you want to go live in LinkedIn and I want that for you too. But the first thing you have to do is get LinkedIn Live approval. So if you're here wanting to know how to go live in LinkedIn using StreamYard and you haven't been approved yet, I want you to pop back, watch last week's video where I tell you all about how to get approved for LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm meta that way. After you are approved for LinkedIn, then pop on back here so I can give you the grand tour of StreamYard. And that is my favorite third party live streaming app. Now, here's why I think that StreamYard is the live broadcasting app that reigns supreme. A lot of different reasons, but one of them is that you can use it on Windows. You can use it on Mac. You can use it on your Android. You can use it on your iPhone, which is not the case for all other third-party restreaming apps. Another thing I love, love, love is you can have guests, you can share a screen, and you can simulcast, meaning you can go out live into eight different places at once. And all of those places think that you're going natively live from their platform. I know it's amazing. The other thing I love about StreamYard is it's easy to use and navigate. If I can use it, you can use it. And it's just the easiest way to go live into LinkedIn. Okay, let's pop over and take a look inside of StreamYard. Now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are logged into your LinkedIn. I have my LinkedIn account open, right? And so you wanna make sure that your LinkedIn account is open, especially if this is the first time that you're hooking up StreamYard. Then we wanna hop on over to StreamYard. Now I'm logged in. If you're just signing up, obviously you'll need to get an account. I'd love for you to get an account through me because they send me to Hawaii. They give me a new um, surfboard. No, I'm just kidding. I get a credit. Uh, but if you scroll down to the description, please buy your StreamYard through me. Now, once you're in, you have your accounts all set up. This is it. This is the whole navigation, which is why I said it's super easy. We're just gonna go over a few of these. We're not gonna do them all for today, but the first thing you would want to do is set up your destinations. Now you can see I have a lot of different destinations, right? I have my Facebook profile, Facebook page. I have a bunch of Facebook groups so that I can go live in there and da, 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 LinkedIn. Oh yeah, you can go live into YouTube as well. But if this were not hooked up, you would want to add a destination. You add the destination and you can pick your LinkedIn page or your LinkedIn profile. And then you would go through hitting one of those. Mine is already hooked up, but this is great to show you. If you do not have approval, uh, you can apply for approval right here through StreamYard. Now I already have approval, so I'm gonna connect to LinkedIn. It brings you in, you go, it will lead you through all of the steps. When you're ready to broadcast into LinkedIn, you would come back to your broadcast, right? And you would create a broadcast new broadcast, or you could upload again, especially in LinkedIn, it's not uh, crucial that you're going live, but you can upload your pre-recorded videos here as well. So you want to hit new broadcast. And then we want to say, oh, I'm going live here. Now I can go live right away, or I can schedule a live, at which point it goes into LinkedIn and says, oh, Tracy's going to be live at this time. I'm a big fan of scheduling my lives because it gives people a little bit of time and I can drive people to it and say like, hey, I'm going live later. So you would give it a title, test title. Um, I usually repeat the test title here. To, it doesn't show up all the time when you're live. So test title again. And of course we mean this is like a killer hook or what I like to call my scroll stopping description, right? You want to stop people in their scroll because the first thing they're going to see is the copy. And then they're going to decide based on that scroll stopping description, if they actually want to stop their scroll and watch your video. Now, this is what we would schedule it for later. Um, there are th some things here. You cannot start two hours later than you schedule it. Um, you cannot start it more than 15 minutes early. And it does not support editing um, the start time once it creates, meaning it's not going to cut off the front if you just start babbling or something like that. So just know that you can upload a thumbnail image. That's what we would do here. You would pull it in from somewhere else and then size it. And then you would set the time and you would create your broadcast. And when you're ready to go live, 
you come back into your studio. Now, why is this important? Because you can't go live from LinkedIn. So you have to go live from a third party app, which is why we're doing StreamYard today. So you would enter into the studio. So now let's navigate the studio and all the things you can and then can't do inside of here. Allow it to, to use it, there it is. Um, I do put my name up there and you'll see why later. I say the grand dame of all things video you can put in whatever you want so now we're entering the studio did you see how i did that in order to actually go live you have to add yourself to the stream now i'm ready to go live i'm gonna go you know I, i'm here but there are some other things you can do right you could just leave it go Streamyard live show yes we don't want to do that though so come on over with me to banners right so we want to shut off oh i guess this is a brandon so we want to turn off the branding right so we're going to hide that so if i hit it it comes back and hide it now this is their overlay you can create your own when i was doing a challenge i had day one come up and i had it come up over um a graphic right you can add as many overlays as you need to and you can have them come up it's like live broadcasting which is why i like it so much and then you can do countdowns please don't do countdowns unless it's like a 15 second countdown or something like that people hate can't countdowns go back and watch last week's video i tell you all about it please don't do that just go live that's what they're waiting for but you can also upload other video clip so if you wanted to show something or display something you can bring that up and share your screen which is what you do all down here now again you can brand put in your branding colors you can put your logos you can put pictures but you can only do that with the paid accounts and so that's the difference between free you have the little you have their branding up there and having a paid account where you can put your own branding up there now these are the these are your overlays and your branding then we go to banners this is what i mean if we were talking about you can preset these these are your banners and i'll show you what that looks like again these are branded right so i'm showing all of the things that come with uh, one of my programs here is live video launch pad, but I put all of these in right and then you can go through while you're talking and hit them and that's what this is such a. Um, a nice way to do an interactive live that looks professional. And so those are your your banners and you can set those ahead of time again you can come into your studio set all of that up set all your branding up you're ready to go and then you can leave the studio and come back when you're ready for your live the last thing i want to show you here you do have a private chat if you had guests i'll get to that in a second but here are your comments now all of your comments come into this one place so if you're live on linkedin and you're live on youtube and you're live on facebook all of these are going to come directly into this one place. Now they do, StreamYard requires that people give them permission to show their names. It's not doing anything else. It's not collecting data. All it's saying is you give StreamYard permission to show Tracy your name. So if they don't click that, and that'll be up in your little description, it just says YouTube user or LinkedIn user or Facebook user. And I play with it. I'm like, hello, Facebook user, thanks so much. And generally someone will say, oh, it's me, Jennifer, right? And so don't worry about that so much. The big point here, the great thing is that you get to see all of the comments in one place. Again, something unique to StreamYard that is really, really beneficial if you're going live you're you're you know streaming into multiple places at once so all of your comments will come into here now you can invite a guest and it's so easy you can do it again ahead of time so if you know that you're interviewing someone and again you don't even have to do this live if you wanted to pre-record an interview with someone then put it up into StreamYard and go into LinkedIn, you could do that. So that's, again, you can record your videos, you can reuse your videos, but you would invite a guest right here. And I'm hoping my little pop-up comes, but you can invite a guest and there is the link. All they have to do is follow the directions and follow the link. It's that easy. So again, you can, you can go in here and invite people. You can have up to eight people and then you can choose how you're seeing those people. So there's no one on here with me, but if there were, then we'd be side to side. This would be side to side and I could have something branded behind me. If there's 
a lot of us, but I want to be the main speaker. That's a spotlight view, right? There's so many different ways you can share a screen. And again, here, if I want to come in and share a screen with you, you can share a screen. Again, it's you can share an entire screen. You can share a window. You can share an entire Chrome tab, right? If I wanted to share my YouTube script notes, I would just share it and it comes up on screen and I can do next to it again. We can do it like this. We can do a full screen. This is where these come in. Oh, I'm back. I'm not sharing anymore. Now I'm sharing again. There's so many different ways. I can go back to my banners. I could have something else come up or I could take it off, right? And so it's that easy. What I want to encourage you to do is play. Like with anything else, it's really important to play. So again, if we came back here, what should I be talking about? Oh, let's see, broadcast upcoming past. Oh, destinations, simply record, we did that. Title, description, schedule for later, we did all of those. Choose your camera, the audio. You can use the green screen options. There's settings for everything. Hotkeys, layouts, virtual backgrounds, right? You can have all of those set up. So what I wanna encourage you to do is come in here and play. Right. So now if we we plan this, we're not going to go live until later. We're going to leave the studio. Right. So we would come back. If we want to come back in. We would come here to enter the studio. But what I do want to show you is you have past videos as well. These are all of my past videos. Now I have a pro account and so it records all of my videos in 1080. You can't live stream and anything bigger than 1080 because of Facebook and LinkedIn, their requirements are 720. But what that means is if you do a really great live, you can then download that live and repurpose that footage and it will be at a higher resolution. Again, that's a ding, ding, ding for me in the production world, right? And so if we go back to your broadcast, it'll show you your past and you would just come to this little, if they call the vertical, the horizontal one a hamburger button, this is a hot dog button, and you would just download the recording. You can send it to different places. You can see it on different places. You can delete the recording. So it is so easy to use. And I really, really, really just think that it is a fabulous way. Oh, I forgot to show you the chat function. So why don't we go back in there and I can place this in. Yep, enter the studio. So again, if you were to have a guest up there, if you were to have a guest, if I had a guest, I would invite my guest and we could use the private chat function so no one else could see. So if I wanted to say like, oh, okay, you take it in five minutes or something like that, I would be able to chat privately. Something you should know is in the comments, you cannot post into the comments. Now, for me, this has never been a problem because I'll either have a VA come in and they'll they'll put my link or something in there. I've never wanted to as a show host reach out to the people who are commenting because I'm live, so I can just comment back. But if that's a deal breaker for you, then StreamYard is not the one for you. Okay, there are just so many reasons to love StreamYard. And that's just showing you a little bit of the capabilities of StreamYard. Yes, LinkedIn is great, but you can also multicast into multiple places and that is amazing. Duh, that's what multicast means. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Tracy, how much does it cost? Hey, Tracy, how much does it cost? Cost, cost, cost. I'm so glad you asked. So we have the free version, we have a basic version and you have the pro version. And at the time of this recording, free is zero dollars. Your basic is $20 a month. And then the pro, which is what I have because I want to be able to download my videos at 1080 and open up some other functions is 39 a month. Now, if you are going live once a week, which I highly recommend, or even if you want a higher end production recording studio, StreamYard is the answer. Okay, that's it for this week. I'm so glad you were here with me and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and I will see you right here next week. Go ahead and hit the music, Amanda.